I'm going to show you how to update your native 4K JVC projector to the new Theater Optimizer upgrade package. Now this applies to the NX5, NX7, NX9, and the RS series projectors. Last year, JVC incorporated Frame Adapt HDR into their firmware upgrade. That took auto tone mapping to an entirely new level. It'll actually take a look at each individual frame of the media coming into the projector and adjust the FALL levels and the CLL levels. This new free firmware upgrade is going to take your theater into consideration. You're going to input the screen material, screen gain, and screen size. The projector will take that information along with the amount of lamp life hours that you have on your projector and optimize the brightness, the black levels, and the picture for exactly the room that you have. So let's get started. First thing we want to do is go to jvc.com. Then go to consumer products. Projectors. Support. Projectors again. And then product updates and firmware download. Now we'll scroll down until we see the NX series projectors. Uh, firmware update for NX5, NX7, and NX9. There we go. What we're looking for is version 3.50. That's going to give us a new theater optimizer and improve our frame adapt HDR. Now make sure you have a 1 gigabyte USB drive and it is formatted to FAT32. As always, meticulously read the software license agreement. Then click Accept. Then click on the Update File and begin your download. I'm going to take the second to look over the update procedure, which is what you probably should do while you're downloading as well. And I'm going to go over this in the video in, in pretty good detail, so you may not need to read this, but it's good to have it for reference as well. One thing I want to point out is that as the projector updates itself, the lights go faster and faster from right to left. So you're going to see about how, how much more time you have left to do it. So now we go into downloads. Go into the file we just uploaded, extract all. And we're going to send this to the one gig USB drive that we have inserted. This just takes a few seconds. We want to go into the USB drive, make sure our file UD underscore B2A1 is there, and there it is. And we want to make sure we eject the USB drive before pulling it out. Okay, so first thing we'll do is go into the advanced menu, picture mode, get a little bit of a close, closer look at that. And hit the back button so you can get out of picture mode to the top icons. Move across the information button. It's the last one. And then you can see at the very bottom it says my software version is 3.11. So here we are at the back of the NX projector. We're going to stick the USB drive that we just downloaded and unzipped, actually, more importantly. We unzipped the file onto this USB drive. We're going to plug it directly into the service port right here. It's not super easy to do on my setup. It's securely installed there. And then the next thing we do is fire up the projector. the back button to get out of picture mode. And then I'll go over control menu, go down to software update. Estimated time is 21 minutes. Version 3.11, update to 3.5. Do we want to start? Yes, we do. This is what you're going to see during the update while the projector is updating itself. Okay. 
we remove the flash drive. And then fire the projector back up, see if the firmware update took. Once the projector is turned on, go to the info menu, back to get to the top column, go over to info, and you'll see right there at the bottom, software version 3.50, our update has taken. Once you've done the update, you go into screen settings on the installation menu, hit enter, screen adjust, you'll turn on. The screen number you can find at the following web address uh, that is on JVC's website. And you can look up exactly what kind of screen you have. Add the size of your screen and the screen gain. Turn on the theater optimizer, optimization level to whatever that you see fit. I leave mine on high, it looks fantastic. Then click set and you are all done. Now I do want you to keep in mind that uh, when you're not in HDR, when you're in SDR mode, uh, you will see that the theater optimizer is not triggered. It's because it's not receiving the HDR content and that's how it's keyed off. The frame adapt HDR and theater optimizer are both keyed off HDR content. So uh, that's it, you're all set and thank you very much for watching.